Hi guys, Nexi here, back with another video and today we're gonna review this new triple laser 4K home cinema laser projector. This thing is quite impressive, so stay tuned! Welcome back guys and thanks for tuning in. This is a AWOL LTV 3500, a 3 chroma 4K laser projector. And what makes this projector very interesting and different from other shortfall laser projector that I review so far is that this projector has a three lasers in a light source. Pure red, blue and green color, from which it can make a billion colors similar to our eyes. By using three separate lasers, this laser projector does not need the color wheel, which means that it can process the image much faster and more stable with a less noise. This means not only that it have a more accurate and vivid colors, it has a much lower input lag for gaming. According to specs, the input lag on this projector on 4K 60Hz per second are now just 30 milliseconds, which is the best score that I've seen so far on a UCT laser projector. Alright, before we dive into the specs and features, let's do a quick unboxing. This is the retail box of the AOL 3500, and on the front of the box we have a picture of the projector and the description already tells you that this is a three color laser projector. Inside the box you're gonna find active 3D glasses with a cloth, charging cable and a nice storage bag. Next we have the latest 4K Fire TV stick, which we'll install later on the projector compartment located on the back. More on that later. Next we have a cloth for cleaning the projector lens, one year extended warranty and a plastic zip bag in which you're gonna find power cable, audio video adapter and the remote control with the batteries. Next we have a quick streaming guide setup, the color for user manual with the specs printed in a few different languages. Next we have 128 gigs USB stick with some test video samples and the last but not least, under this protective foam, wrapped in a protective cloth, we have a projector itself. Nice. When it comes to design, this projector looks really nice and it's a quite unique. With these curvy edges, side grills, combination of dark matte gray and the glossy black color and with that golden line in between, it reminds me of some kind of futuristic car concepts. On the front of the projector, we have the lens, laser block sensor, two proximity sensor for eyes protection, power on off touch switch and we have some imprint info on the left and right. On the front of the projector we have the AVOL logo in the middle and underneath we have the infrared receiver and ambient light sensor. On the right we have the LED status light and down here under this grill we have a 36 watt audio speakers who by the way sounds very nice and they are very loud. On the left and right we have a large mesh for the air vents and a USB socket. On the back of the projector we have the input board, TV power stake compartment and more air vents on the right. In terms of ports we have the optic audio port, service port, USB, LAN internet, audio video in and the two HDMI ports with the HDCP 2.2 compliance. Underneath we have a power supply plug and also there is a dual band Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth. And it's a good to point that this projector comes with a universal voltage power supply and it will work with any AC voltage no matter where you live. One quick look on the projector, we can see the ceiling mount brackets, four legs or knobs for tilt adjustment and the more air vents. Now it's time to install the streaming TV stick. You simply press here, remove the cover, plug the power supply cable to the TV stick, plug it in into the HDMI port and close the cover. Done. Now in terms of screen setup, it's a straightforward. Once you place the projector on your TV stand or the projector cabinet in my case, I will connect all devices that I have and the USB trigger as well. Then use the mechanical leg first to match the projector with the screen as much as possible. Then for fine adjustment, 
use the 8-point screen adjustment on the screen and electronic focus. Since I have the integrated 120-inch ambient light rejecting screen and aromatic slide projector cabinet, one press on the button, the projector will turn on, cabinet will slide out and the screen will rise up. And you're ready to go. Pretty cool. If you're interested into this projector cabinet with an integrated screen for UCT laser projector, check the video description, you will find a dedicated video review for it. When it comes to the brightness, the AVOL 3500 is the brightest projector that I tested so far. The brightness and the vivid colors will blow you away as soon you turn the projector on and when you see the boot animation. Now in terms of specs and features, we have the new triple laser source with a brightness of 3500 lumens, color gamma out of 107% RSC 2020 or 149% DCI-P3. It supports HDR10 and HDR10+. It has a full 3D support so that you can enjoy your favorite 3D movies. Next we have a white color gamma out mode for converting the HDR to non-HDR content. We have a game mode which supports low input lags and the projector also supports MEMC feature which will give you the smooth image with no judder especially if you're watching some fast movement scenes or sports which is great. The projector also have a Dolby Atmos sound and the DTS Virtual X sound. To project the image, this projector uses a special customized lens which will give you the sharpest image even of the edges of the screen. Also, the support for Dolby Vision are coming soon with the new firmware upgrade. And in terms of lifespan, the laser's light source are rated at 25,000 hours, which means if you're using this projector for 4 hours every day, it will last you for 17 years, which is fantastic. Now, let's talk about remote control and the software. The projector uses remote control, which works both on infrared and on the Bluetooth. The remote is made of silver plastic and it feels nice in the hand. Besides standard controls, the remote have a few dedicated buttons, like a button for source input, file app, picture settings, light, screen mirror and the sound, which is very useful. When it comes to software, this projector uses customized Android version 9 with a quad-core CPU with 3 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. The software runs very smooth and fast and the interface is a very simple and easy to use. On the main screen and the first row, you have an icon for all apps, file management, screen share, and the settings. And down here, you have the HDMI inputs. By clicking on the icon All Apps, you can see all apps that you have installed on the projector. On the file management, you have access to your local device, USB stick, expandable storage, and the local storage like a NAS over the network. Next icon, you have the screen share instructions and up here you have a quick access to your external USB storage, your connected network and the Bluetooth. By clicking on the settings icon and to the image, you have option to choose image mode between standard, vivid, sport, movie, game and user mode. If you go into advanced settings, you will find many more settings like MEMC, low delay mode, noise reduction, dynamic contrast, gamma, color temperature, white balance, color collection, HDR, white color gamma out and more, so that you can really adjust the image to your taste. There is also zoom mode, 3D settings mode, user settings and many light settings profile to choose from. Basically, you have a tons of options, which is really good. Under the sound, you will find a few sound profiles to choose from. You can choose your output device, adjust balance, bass, treble, turn on or off DTS Virtual X sound and a Dolby Atmos. Here you can even adjust the equalizer by specific frequency, which is nice. Going back to the settings, you can see and test your network connection. See the Bluetooth device management and if we go into the general settings, there are more options like power settings, language, time, boot settings, sleep timer, screen saver and many more. And I will not go into all of these options here, but I will show you about all information here. When it comes to connectivity, 
all devices that I have works very well with this projector and the Fire TV stick is without exception. This device is great for streaming and it have many useful apps, but I will not go into the Fire TV's OS too much in this video as there is already tons of video about it. For those who only want to use the Fire TV OS on this projector, you can set projector to boot directly into the Fire TV stick and you can skip internal OS completely if you like to. Now let's talk about the image quality. The image quality on this projector in short is amazing. Honestly I never test the more brighter UCT laser projector with the more accurate colors and less image noise out from the box than the AVOL 3500. The picture quality on this projector is fantastic. The colors are vivid but not overblown. The picture is so sharp, very smooth and crystal clear. The contrast and black levels are very good and the visual experience is awesome. Watching HDR videos and movies on this projector is a real joy. And thanks to the MEMC feature, the picture is so smooth with no judder, even with very fast scenes. As well on the slow pan shots, which is great. The projector also supports a 3D and with the active 3D glasses, you will be able to enjoy your favorite 3D movies. Combined with the right screen, the AVOL 3500 unleash its full potential and you can have a great picture quality even with the lights on. These ambient light rejection screens boost the contrast and drastically increase the picture quality in the room with the ambient light as they absorb the light from the projector and reflects it straight to the viewer instead that the light gets scattered in the upper direction on the wall. Our media room have some aggressive lighting especially for that long winter time here in Sweden. And here you can see some examples with the full lights on, half lights on and the spotlights on. A very impressive. By the way, keep in mind that the camera is on the auto video mode as it's very hard to mimic what our eyes can see in a person. Now when it comes to gaming, this projector performs very good. Better than any UCT laser projector that I tested so far. Playing my favorite games on this projector was a blast. The controller feels fast and responsive and the input lag of 30 milliseconds in 4K 60Hz is more than good for casual gaming. Of course if you're competing in a first person shooting games this number might not be good enough but for the casual gaming this is more than enough. The visual experience when playing games on this huge screen is absolute blast. The graphic in games looks so realistic and the picture quality is awesome. On this projector you can easily dive into the game world and lose some serious hours of your life like in a matrix. When it comes to the noise level this projector is the most silent UCT laser projector that I got my hands on. My sound meter shows the noise level of just 35 decibel which is the lowest number that this device can measure. And when it comes to the power consumption, this projector is a very efficient. In the standard mode, the projector pulls 194 watt. On high light mode, it uses 208 watt. And on the high dynamic mode, it pulls 241 watt from the grid, which is a very good indeed. Also, it's a good to point that this projector have no coil noise and it will not bother you with that high pitch noise that some other projector suffers from which is great. So in the end, what do you think about the AVOL 3500 laser projector? Well, with a solid build quality and very nice design, excellent image quality in 4K HDR and SDR as well, with a good gaming performance, 3D, huge screen size up to 150 inches, packed with a high performance laser light source that can cope with some strong ambient light and with a lifespan of over a decade and many more, the AVOL 3500 is an awesome laser projector which I can recommend to anyone who are looking for all-in-one home cinema laser projector. The only negative thing that I can say about this projector and the other three laser projectors in general are the high price point and I hope that this changes in the future when they become more popular. Alright guys, I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. Link of this projector you can find in a video description. 
And if you have any question or suggestions, feel free to leave the comment. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.